Let's Miss Street say it. I rock with it, man. She one of those people on question. All right, we appreciate you. Y'all watching another episode of Highly Respected with yours truly, Miss Streets. And I have a singer, songwriter, producer, just an all-around talented man named Winston Ward. Hi, Winston. What's good? Hey, I mean, hey, Miss Streets. How you feeling? Guys, I'm so good. And thanks for dropping the government. It's all good. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So we have to talk about the EP, new EP. Um, it's called Summertime Interlude. Talk about the title and then um, we're going to get into all the good stuff about the project. Of course. So Summertime Interlude is a project that I dropped um, August 23rd, um, which was yesterday. Um, and I started this project in the beginning of the summer and what I wanted to do is just kind of just chronicle all the all of the summers that I've been through as an adult. So I'm talking about, you know, different exes. I'm talking about, you know, talking to females. I'm talking about being in love in the summertime. I know that's a big, big taboo thing in in, in New York. Um, you know, we we really don't fall in love. Um, no cuffing in the summer. <laughs> exactly, no cuffing in the summer. But you know, I made the fatal the fatal mistake of doing that, and of course, I paid for it. So, um, I definitely wanted to um to 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 make a song about that, and yeah, th that's just pretty much the project. I wanted to just chronicle um what my summers have been like um over the past few years. Oh, and I love the project, by the way. Um, slow jam and summertime; those are like my two favorites. Um, but you have six records; it it all flows like you can just press play and no skips for me. So, um, I think it's a solid project. Love it. Um, and talk about the digital book, the digital booklet that people really don't do that much anymore. I mean, I came from that era, and obviously you did. Um, I seen something on your. Um, post recently that said you used to look at the book licks and I listen that was my thing I wanted to know who was the the mixer I mean who engineered it I wanted to know where it was recorded who produced it who wrote it um talk about why that was so important for you to have for this project yeah so I think for me like nostalgia is a very big thing and what I wanted to do with this project especially since I was talking about the things that have happened to me in the past I kind of just wanted to bring that back um as I alluded to in my post on um on Instagram um, back in the day, I would read the books of like Brandy, of, of Drew Hill, Boys to Men. I wanted to see who the writers were. I wanted to memorize the lyrics. And, you know, back in the day, you know, computers were there, but, you know, it wasn't really like, you know, as advanced as we have it now. But it's like, you know, that was where you went to the lyrics. You didn't go on Google to look for the lyrics. You went to the books to find out what the lyrics were. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to just bring back a little bit of nostalgia and um, I appreciated everyone who um, who interacted with it. So, yes, yeah, thank you for that. Um, so you obviously um, are on the the whole EP, duh. But you wrote some of the records, and then you produced the records, some of the records as well. Um, talk about how long the process took for you to actually complete this EP. So I like I said, I started the project around the summer. I already had about two of the songs already completed and. Um, this is before I even decided that I wanted to come up with a project. And when I was like, you know what, I should make a, a project based on. So the, the, the songs that I had already was The Chase and I already had Thirsty. Um, they weren't on um, any projects. They were just, you know, songs that I just already had around. And so I just decided to just go into the into the studio, uh, me and some of my producers and even some of my writers. And we really just created a project just talking about the, you know, the experiences that I've had. And I'm happy that um I'm happy that within the within the few months, um we got it completed. Yes, yes. So do you re we're gonna go oh, um a little bit back back to the beginning. Um, do you remember when you realized you first realized that you had a voice, like you knew that you could sing, and and when you did realize that, did you want to become an artist instantly? So when I realized that I could sing was it was it was around that same time when I was when I would uh, look for those booklets and the albums I would sing and I would my brother would look at me so my brother's I have an older brother and he could sing as well too he's not like an artist or anything he's just one of those people that's just talented you know <laughs> uh, and so he would sing and then I would like try to like like mimic him or mock him and he would just give me a look like he wouldn't <laughs> say anything like 
he wouldn't say anything like you got it or keep going, but he would give me a look. And it was almost like a look of confirmation that um, for me to keep going. So internally, that's how I knew. And um, I grew up in the church as well, too. So, you know, growing up in the church, you're always, you know, pushed into the spotlight if I can, you know, for the lack of a better phrase, you know. So um, they'd give me several different solos and all of the uh, the the old church grandmas would be like, go ahead. <laughs> so, right. That was, on the of, spot. <laughs> that was more of the the external validation. So cool. So um, if you had the opportunity to open up for like one of your favorite artists, who would that person be? You can only pick one. OK, so I'm going to I'm going to break the rules just a little bit. So okay. forget. <laughs> um, so I will be I, all of my friends would kill me if I didn't say tank because everyone knows how much of a of a big tank fan that I am. Um I think his music is amazing. He's influenced me uh way more than I could even um even you know put into words. Mm -hmm. But I think realistically right now who I would open for um you know it would be Beyonce, right? Like sure. Beyonce <laughs> right? Like Beyonce is literally the biggest female artist um on, like ever. Um, and not even just female, she's she's possibly one of the biggest artists ever. And yeah. I I appreciate the dynamics of of having um different sexes. Like I wouldn't like me opening up for Tank is a little bit unrealistic, but me opening up for another female artist is a lot more realistic. So that's the reason why I lean more towards Beyonce. Yeah. And I said right, right. I didn't mean to say right, right. Because I mean it could happen. You could open up a tank. I mean, it's oh, cool. yeah, you know, it, it could happen. So um Let's go. Um, let's talk about R and B in in a nutshell. Um, obviously, people go back and forth with, "Oh, it's dead. It's not the same." Um, what's your thoughts on it right about now? Like the, at least the stuff you've been hearing. Um, besides yourself, right? So I think I agree with people's sentiments. With R and B is not the same, but if you look at almost any other any other genre you know, all the other genres aren't the same either. Yeah. So to expect something to, to stay the same over time is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So for me, what I always like to say is I appreciate R&B where it is right now. Um, it has to continue to change. It has to continue to evolve. And um, what I appreciate is how people are going back and sampling different artists. So it's almost <laughs> as if they're, you know, they're getting the essence of the nineties, which I love, which is my favorite era of R&B. <laughs> right. I think I think it's almost undisputed at this point. It is. <laughs> but, right. So I think people they, um you know, I appreciate them sampling so much of the 90s because it's it's almost like it's bringing it back. Um, But yeah, I mean, I I, I love where R&B is right now. We have so many amazing artists who are on top right now um, who are doing amazing things. And um, I, I love it, to be honest. Cool. Cool. So um, what's next for you? What do you have coming up? I'm um, obviously the EP just dropped summertime in a loop but what's next what is um like videos or shows or anything that you want to tell the people so i do have a music video dropping very soon um i i didn't plan on saying it on the show but uh, <laughs> well, listen i get the exclusive so, so thank you for that <laughs> yeah, the exclusive so yes there will be a video dropping for the song summertime Ooh. um um, I'm really, really excited about that. I've been like keeping my lips shut about it. Um, we we shot it um, uh, a few weeks ago, so I'm excited about that. And in regards to other music, um, I'm still in the studio. Um, I am still writing, still producing, and still working on my own my own material. So I'm I'm just the thing about music is I, I realized that for me, music is something that I'll continue to do even well into. Um, I don't even know what age um, mm -hmm. because it brings me so much joy. Um, mm -hmm. Even if I don't release it, even if I'm just writing it for other people, just the fact of getting my, my experiences, the fact of getting my ideas mm -hmm. um, and starting from nothing and creating a, a finished project or product and making something tangible is just so amazing to me. I don't think I'll ever stop doing it. Nice. Shout outs. Um, key people, uh, those who were there from day one, those who mm -hmm. may have came later on in your journey, but um, go ahead and shout those people out. Okay, so let's let's start out. We're gonna shout God out, of course, because you know without Him, uh, my mom, of course, uh, my my pops, um, all of my family, all of my friends, my wife, my son, um, who else? Uh, my the people on my on my SOMU team, um, 
uh, Gerard, Ashley, Javon, Don, David, Quincy, you know, is the, the list goes on, but literally everyone who I've collaborated with on this project, Summertime Interlude, and anyone who I just collaborate with in general, um, shout out to you. I'm rooting for you um, just as much as you're rooting for me. Nice, nice, nice. Shout out to, and shout out to you too for, for providing this amazing platform. Thank you, of course. Um, I love it. I just love to have um, talent mm -hmm. heard as best and as much as I can do, at least on my end. So yes. Um, Social media, got to drop that so people know how to follow you, download the music, watch the videos, and be nosy because that's what people do on social media sometimes. So drop that for them. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Instagram at Winston Ward Music. It's pretty much just my name, Winston Ward Music. And you can find my music on all streaming platforms by just typing in my name, Winston Ward. Um, and if you, for some reason, get lost, you can just go to my website, winstonwardmusic.com. Nice, nice. So Winston, thank you again. Um, love the EP, like I said earlier. Keep making good music. Yes. That arm be strong, because it's alive, but keep it strong like you're doing. Um, and I wish you nothing but the best. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You have my support. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. You're